Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new in today's video it is Sunday so it is Pits and Peaks Day. For those that are not familiar with the style of video on my channel I talk about things that didn't go so well for the week being my Pits for the week and things that went better this week being my Peaks for the week. I have a list of everything that I've got for Pits and Peaks this week I may have missed things out. I don't have very many peaks, but the peaks are are good things, so hopefully they sort of balance things out. Um, so yeah, if I'm looking down at my phone, it's just because that's where my notes are. Uh, so we'll start with the pits first, so we can end on a high with the peaks. So my first pit this week is that I am still basically a taxi service for Philip. He has had an MRSA swab uh, last week. He's got his COVID test tomorrow and we need to then self-isolate. And he is back in for, um, I think, like day surgery slash local anaesthetic uh, to have the wires removed. Um, after that point, I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but from uh, hearing stories from friends that have had sort of similar situations with like wires in their hands or in their bones and things like that, uh, we're probably potentially looking at him going back in a hard cast again, so it isn't completely over for that and I envisage that I'm probably still going to be taxiing him around for the next, I would say, month or so. Uh, which obviously isn't great because my routine is just up in the air at the moment but I am just going to have to adapt to that. Um, so obviously that sort of leads on to my next pit which was that I did my check-in and if you haven't watched that I'll link it in a card up there somewhere but the sort of general gist for that video was that I was just generally a bit frustrated with how my weight loss journey was going. I am sort of stuck in the comparison trap between how my weight loss journey went before. For those that are not familiar, I will leave a video either up in the cards or down below for my sort of weight loss journey so far and why I gained weight and things like that. Um, basically, I have been on a weight loss journey before. I lost 120 pounds and then over the years have gained a lot of that back. So um, it is quite frustrating to be on the journey again, having already lost all that weight once before. And I feel like it's like doubly hard this time round. And like traits and stuff that I had, uh, that I must have had before, I don't appear to have now like any resemblance of willpower or self-restraint saying no to certain things just seems to be like a long on trait so I am gonna have to try and work on getting that back but yeah there's been a lot of sort of frustration this week surrounding my check-in and the fact that nothing has changed again and I just seem to be stalled so that has been a bit of a downer this week um, my next pit is that my eating is still not fully un under control. I am tracking here and there for the last couple of days I haven't tracked. I took two days off from work, um, sort of a spur of the moment thing. And Philip also took off time from work, so I didn't have to sort of taxi him around. But we have been busy and eating out quite a bit during those t those times. Like we've been out for breakfast one day, and we went for a pub lunch one day. So calories aren't sort of quite there yet. I am um, going to start fresh tomorrow. Um, I usually hate the sort of saying like fresh week, fresh start, but I really feel like when things are started on a Monday they seem to go better so I'm just sort of waiting for tomorrow to really get back on track I'm going to start tracking in NutriTrack again basically every morsel of food that I have uh, regardless of whether I go over my calories or not so we'll see how that goes but I am going to try my absolute best to stay under my calories from now on so yeah uh, so that's that I haven't really been back in uh, on track with my eating uh, my next uh, pit is that I have had some general doubts about how things are going to go in the race. At one point this time last week, I didn't do a pits and peaks this last week actually, um, but at this point last week I was really considering whether I was actually going to do the race or not or whether I was going to drop out. I felt really underprepared obviously because I hadn't been doing my training runs and things like that, I'd missed two weeks of training. 
um, and I hadn't done a long run on that Sunday I literally just sat down and was like why am I even going to do the race if I haven't really done the long runs to sort of get me through the mileage um, and there was a real sort of fear in the back of my mind about me coming last in the race I sort of looked at the times for the last time the race was on which was the last time that I ran actually it was two years ago because obviously Covid and stuff like that happened so the race wasn't on for the last uh, I think two years so I had sort of been comparing my times to the last time that I ran the race and yeah just like comparison trap and sort of the standard of my running at the moment compared to how it was two years ago has really just got me on a proper downer um, and I know that someone has to come last in a race but mentally I don't know whether I can do that so I sort of had a look at the race results and based on my times I don't think I'm going to be last but I will be at the back of the pack and that sort of worries me as well because usually when you're even though you're not running with anyone else if you've got a lot of people around you and things like that it does sort of encourage you and you can sort of use mini goals as people to sort of catch up to or stick with and if you're sort of on your own with no one about I feel like I'm going to struggle so I'm just going to have to see how it goes. I am determined to actually do the race now so I will be doing it um, but I'll just have to see how it goes and sort of use it as a benchmark for anything after that point. But yeah, I was in that sort of headspace last week where I was just like, I don't even know if I'm going to do it. Uh, the last pit for, uh, yeah, I think it's the last pit, is that I um, obviously have mentioned that I had a personal issue a few weeks ago. Um, mentally, I'm much better than I was. However, obviously, I still need to sort of sort the problem out. So I had a doctor's appointment or well an over the phone appointment which quite annoyed me um, because I don't really feel like you can solve uh, things like that over the phone but they have referred me so I have a referral that has come through but it is in three months and I'm sort of desperate to have it sorted if you will and to have an appointment that's three months away is still quite a long time away so yeah that's a bit naff um, I'm gonna have to wait that long I am going to see whether I can go through my work uh, private health insurance um, see whether they will cover the issue and see where I can get with that if I have to wait three months and I have to wait three months but if I can get it done or get seen quicker and have some sort of ongoing treatment if you will uh, with regards to the problem then I will go through Booper if I have to uh, but yeah that's my sort of last pit for this week so we will move on to the peaks so as I mentioned I had that sort of um, doubtful moment where I didn't know whether I was going to do the race because I hadn't done any long runs for like two nearly three weeks um, but I did decide to uh, try and do a six mile on Monday which actually went uh, quite well obviously I did have to run walk a majority of it but I did do the six mile distance which is what matters most so I did a six mile on Monday and I was pretty happy with that that sort of instilled a bit of confidence to know that I could at least do the distance and not like walk it all I did like run walk um, quite a few of the miles but it wasn't too bad overall and then I did another six miles today I did a 10k today so um, yeah that sort of instilled a bit of positivity I guess going into the race next week I definitely know I am capable of being able to do the seven mile distance I'm just gonna have to um, see how it goes in terms of sort of people around me and what time I do it in but like I said I am just going to use this as the benchmark going forward for any sort of races that I book. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy to have done the two, I think I've just done two runs this week which were both six milers, they were like a week apart almost. Uh, so I didn't get any shorter runs in this week. I had hoped to sort of get one done um, towards the sort of um, midpoint in the week but obviously like I said I had two days off and I really lost track of days in those few days because I felt like the Thursday and Friday was a Saturday and Sunday so I got really mixed up with days and 
yeah, I ended up missing a shorter run during that time, but I'm not too bothered. I've done two six mile runs, so I sort of think that makes up for it. Um, and then the last peak for this week is that I bought a new toy, which should help with my um, videos and things like that. Um, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do in regards to filming a race vlog for the race next Sunday because the Insta360, I've got the um, 360 Twin, uh, I think it's called the Twin, I'll put the actual name of the camera I have here and I usually have all the sort of equipment and things that I use in the description but it's quite a bulky camera, um, it's about this big-ish and it's quite heavy when I put it on the stick and that's fine for like shorter runs and when I do my running vlogs and things like that because obviously I want to get the different angles of my running but in a race I don't really want to be stringing a heavy camera around on a stick and getting in the way of people trying to film things so I ended up getting a Insta360 Go 2 which is this little thing here um, so I have tried it today but it is literally minuscule it's this big so it's like the size of my thumb so it comes with an attachment where you can sort of clip it on a baseball cap so I think that is the idea for the race on Sunday next week is that I'm going to wear the camera on a cap and just film a sort of POV race style vlog so you probably won't see any of me but you will see the sort of scenery on the race which is really really nice like I said, I did it two years ago, so I have familiarity with the course and it's a, lo a local race to me anyway. It's like five minutes away from the house um, on the Burley House grounds and Burley House is beautiful. The grounds are beautiful, so it should be a really nice uh, video. I do have to sort of figure out some um, small issues that I've been having since I filmed today but yeah other than that I'm excited to use it and excited to have some different shots for like vlogs and things like that as well so yeah I'm looking forward to that I will have some sort of like day in the life vlogs coming up where I make more use out of that camera but yeah that is um it I think for pits and peaks So if you want to leave a pit or a peak from your week this week, feel free to do that in the comments. But I think that's going to be it for the video. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can always click the notification bell down below and you'll be notified of when my videos go live. Other than that, hope you're all staying safe and well. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week, weekend, whenever it is that you're watching this. And I will see you again in my next video.